Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jose Diaz and today we are going to start with the second part of this course and it's basically we will make this drawing in AutoCAD. Before starting with the software, I would like to mention that I will be developing a full course of AutoCAD for beginners, intermediate and advanced students in a, in a separate video. So I will be uploading them to the channel shortly, so stay tuned. And this exercise um, will be helpful in case you receive a drawing in PDF as a picture or even as a printed document, because if your client cannot provide you the, the drawing in a DWG or any CAD format, you will need to do it in order to modify, make your design uh, effectively. The first thing we are going to do is to open the software. You can use any version of AutoCAD you have because we'll be working um, by commands. I recommend you to work this way because once you learn all commands, the development of your drawings will be faster and more effective. And also, no matter, no matter what the version or type of AutoCAD, you will be able to make drawings without the need of the drawing tool, bar, or the interface that is constantly changing each year. I will leave, I will leave in the description um, a link of Autodesk to download a student version of AutoCAD uh, for, for free in case you don't have the, the software. Okay, let's open the, the software. In this case, I'm going to use 2018 and 18 version. Okay, let's wait. And I recommend you to have at least two gigabytes of RAM in, in your computer. So that way AutoCAD will work better. And so the, the first thing we, we need to do, let, let me adjust this quickly here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to get into the, to the space mode. So we're going to uh, use this uh, button, start drawing, click on the start drawing. And now we are on the, on the motor space. The motor space is this black space that we have as a background. So here we can do all the drawings or everything we want to do, we'll do it here in, in, in this model. So now we have, uh, we are on the, on the model space. We're going to save this file. So we need to use Control S and we need to save this drawing. So I recommend you to create a codification for your project and, and save all the documents based on that codification because you will save more time and will be more effective in case you have to maybe deliver to your clients, everything will look more professional. And also will help to the organization of your of your projects. In this case, we are doing a drawing, so I'm going to use, for example, we can use this codification. It's a drawing. The R is an architectural drawing. The R um, is the the name of the of the space is a car house. G H and it's the first document, so 001. So now with this codification, we can save. I recommend you also to create a, a folder for your project. So we can call this um, sub project AC. Uh, it's a project, car house, AC and the year could be 2020. Okay, 
So we will create another folder for architectural drawings. So we will solve, we will save our drawing here. Okay. Once the file is created, we have to configure the units of our drone by using the commands U and N. U and Enter. So in AutoCAD, we can either enter, type the full name of the command or we can type the shortcut. In this case, we can also type units. We can also have access to this uh, to this option. So length type we are using we are doing an architectural drawing so we are going to select architectural. Precision will depend what is easier for you to read on drawings and what is easier for you to to measure on on on, on site with your tape measure on measuring tape. Um, I recommend you to use a half an inch of precision. The units will be in inches. The units for specifying specify of lining. Okay, um, I recommend you to use American because we are using American units. And um, basically, we are using American units because the software that we are going to use for our thermal load calculation it needs all the units in a, in, a, in the American system. So I recommend you to do the, everything because it will be faster if you, if you don't have to make make any conversion after. The, the angle will be the same and the precision will be the same. Okay, we are okay with this. We are okay. And with this, now we save the, the, the file and we already configured all the units. The next thing is to move the picture of the drawing and to check the elements we have to draw and also the measurements. So to bring the image, we need to go to the to go back to the presentation. I will let uh, I will leave this um, this image on the description so you can download and use it. So we have to select it, Control C. Go to this, the model space in AutoCAD and use Control V and select the location for your for your picture. It could be here. You type OK, and now we need to move the the quick the the picture. If you want to move the picture, you can uh, use the scroll of your mouse of your mouse. You can want to have a closer or move it a little bit far, I think this position will be okay. Also, if you want to move the, um, your, your more space, you can hold, you can press and hold the, the, the scroll of your mouse and you will be this type of hand. So you can, that way you will be able to move uh, the position of your, of your, um, model space. So in this case, we are going to leave this uh, picture over here. And we can drop the image over there. Now we have to identify all the structural elements and make a list. And um, in order to have the information for our layers. Um, I want to tell you that a layer is an important tool in AutoCAD because allows allows us to cl classify similar elements on their specific codification. This element can be can have the same shape, the same color, the same size, or even the same scale. Well, all of them are grouped in, in one layer. It's easier to manipulate or edit them if necessary because in drawings, when you have many elements, will be really difficult um, to modify them uh, separately. Or in case you have to hide or, or erase them, will be easier if you have everything in just one layer. The, ele the similar elements. So if you check 
quickly this image, we see that we have grid lines, we have column bases, we have the column body, we have walls, we have doors, windows, shades, people, we have linings, we have electrical equipment, we have furniture, we have kitchen equipment, we have a floor, we have a ceiling, and we have bathroom. So we need to make a list of all these elements because that will make it easier for us to, to create a layer. I already make a list of all these elements that I already mentioned. So now, and I will also recommend you to use a codification for this uh, for this layer because it will be easier for you to organize them and change it in the future. So I'm, I'm going to leave this list on the description. You can make all the layers on on your site because I'm going to do just a few ones for to save some time. So I'm going to type the word layer. And this way we are going to have access to the layer. So the first thing we need to do is to create, to click in this icon, this icon that has a, like a, a yellow, a red point. So you can create the layer here. So the first thing we have to do is to give the name of the layer. In this case, the first layer is the grid line. So we are going to just type the code in capital letters. So it will be GRGL001. The only thing we are going to change uh, right now is maybe the color will be this could be this green one. And also maybe mm, no, I'm not going to change this, this one. Maybe if you want to change the type of line, you have many options here if you want to lock that line so you are not going to be able to make any changes. Maybe you can change the type of the line, the lightweight, line weight, and another features. But so far, the only thing we're going to do is to change the color and the name. So we are going to create another one. We can create the column basis. Column basis, 001. Will be maybe this color, or this one. The next one will be the column body. So, so it's column body, column body. 001. The color will be maybe this blue. You can use any color you want. The only thing you need to try to, you know, select color that make a balance between them. Also, I'm going to create the next one is the walls. So the walls is W. Zero. The external wall, sorry. So it will be E W zero zero one. Okay, the color will be maybe this blue one. Okay, with this, we are okay. You can finish the rest of the layers uh, by your own and Maybe in, on, in, in the, the future, um, while we are progressing on the on the throne, we can make another another layers. But so far, I think with the list, we are okay for the architectural drawing. Do not forget select. If you want to um, start a, a drawing, do not forget to select the the layer the layer that you 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 need. For example, if you're going to start to make the drawing with the Grid lines, we need to select the green lines in order to make all the drawings be inside of this uh, layer. Otherwise, you will have the layers that 
come by definition with the with the AutoCAD. So I recommend you to use select the grid lines and then select this uh, icon that have a check a green check here. So with this, your layer is ready to start to be used. So we close. And on the next video, we are going to start to make our, our drawing. So yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends and relatives because that will allow me to continue with this video. And I hope you're having a good time with your, with your friends and family at home. Stay safe, take care, and see you on the next video. Bye.